Don't see anything there I want to eat. He seems to have all the implements he needs. Mind if I take one of these? Please, spread the word. We might just save some lives here, man. How's the fruit? It's a little on the tangy side, to be honest, but you know, the game is always sweetest to the hunter. So, what kind of hunter are you? I've been trying to get this fruit all day, but I had some issues, and I almost gave up. But I went to the arcade and beat my own high score on 3D Hypercrypt, and I was like, if I can do that, I can do anything, you know? Of course. Everyone knows video games are good for your self-esteem. What's that thing you're sticking in the fruit? Oh, this little tapper thing? That's so I can skip all the skin and fiber and just drink the juice right away. Juice, you know? That way all the phytonutrients and stuff get in your bloodstream faster. For when you want to get healthy in a big hurry, man. What's the big healthy rush? Well, recently I was all hung up on my own under... on my underlying issues, and I had some time to think. And then this girl hit me. I, I mean, uh, it... it hit me. I need to turn my life around. Then I got that high score at the arcade, and now here I am, the king of health! So why are you going to turn your life around? Well, at first, it was because of this girl, McGee. I imagined her cheering me on through each level in 3D Hypercrypt. But then when I reached the end, I realized, McGee doesn't care about 3D Hypercrypt. She doesn't play video games. No, she thinks the 3D is a gimmick. She only plays the original. But what I'm saying is, that the high score, the juicing, it's okay if it's just for me. I'm not doing this to, uh, to impress anybody, you know? That's good. So how are you going to turn your life around? Well, like, what's the next step from here? Uh, probably go back to the arcade, you know, and look for another sign. Lots of other high scores to beat, man. Drinking all that juice... Don't you have to use the bathroom a lot? I'll let you in on a little secret. When you live in the clouds, you're never very far from a bathroom. Oh, there are people down below. I was just down below. Hey, watch the skies, man. Hey, can I borrow that little fruit tapper? Yeah, actually, I've been thinking the acid or something and the fruit is messing with the coating on this thing. I'm giving it a weird taste. You can have it. I'll just squeeze it out natural. Thanks. Don't worry. I, I don't have a cold or anything. I'll let you get back to your juice. Bye. Don't see anything there I want to eat. What do you think of this fruit, Spoon? Oh, sir, I wouldn't eat it. I mean, how can you trust food that doesn't come from a replicator? Besides, I'm sensing a strong acid content. happen if I carefully inserted this tapper. Not very deep, of course, just into the outer layer of the shell. Uh, I, I was just trying to get a sample. Uh... I was close. I'd better get out of here before she remembers to kill me. I better not move it. I don't want to cheese off Gus. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Now look at that. 
can you tell me about these eggshells, Spoon? Well, I wouldn't recommend eating them, sir. They are comprised primarily of calcium carbonate, which has little or no nutritive value. Son. Dad, did you know we weren't in space the whole time? No, but I had my suspicions. In my nightly maintenance patrols of the ship's exterior, I found many anomalies I couldn't explain. Was Operation Dandelion for real? Obviously, Operation Dandelion was not what they told us it was. But why hide it from us? What were they up to? Did you and Mom know about Merrick? Who? The guy in the wolf suit, who lived in the vents of the ship. If there were someone on the ship without our knowledge, that could only be the work of the Thrushmaster, the head of Operation Dandelion. But why send an operative and not tell us? Sorry I treated you and Mom like machines. Oh, you didn't all the time, son. Until you turned 13, we didn't annoy you at all. Plus, you can make up for it by helping us get your mother off that ship. I wish I could do more to help Alex fix his ship. Well, what's still left to do? Do you have an extra radiation suit? I'd give you the shirt off my back, son. But it doesn't block radiation, I'm afraid. Do you have any wire? All my tools are still on the ship. You're good with electronics, right? Well, the ship used to fix its own wiring using robots, so I never needed to learn how, unfortunately. Don't worry, Dad. I've got this under control. That's my boy. How's the hull patch coming? How would you change the pH? How would you lower the pH? I would try to find something mildly acidic. Oh, what I wouldn't do for some splarg right now. So, cereal is acidic? No. It just helps me think. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. What are those, eggshells? Shells is shells, right? Actually, calcium carbonate is the main ingredient in all kinds of shells. Exactly. So you were listening to my night lectures on science. Uh-huh. What's the acidity of that compound, Spoon? The mixture has a pH balance of 9. Exactly. No good. We need to get it closer to 7. Hang on there, son. Do you know how acidic that fruit is? No, but my spoon will tell me. I will. With pleasure, sir. Hmm, worth a shot. Any luck? I'm detecting a pH level of... Seven! Eureka! It's perfectly balanced, sir! Nice work, son. Now for the final ingredient. Just a small bonding and reduction agent. It's... perfection. It's so small. A little goes a long way. Come on, let's go fix that ship. I love science. Mmm, amazing. Just like my dad used to make. Let me at that hull and I'll start patching her up. Sure, uh, go ahead. Hey, 
can I go down there? Uh, aren't you busy helping me find stuff for my ship? Oh, yeah. What's left? Still need an electronics genius, and, uh, I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it.